Hi, this is Tam and it's your 60 Second Civics. Today we're going to talk about the three fantastic ways that you can vote in an election. Now for those of you who like to go on election day, August 30th or November 8th, primary, general, you go there in person, wait in line, fill out your ballot, and hand it in. It's fantastic, it's fun, it gives you a great sense of pleasure. However, some of you don't like lines, so for about a week before the election, the Supervisor of Elections Office has set up around the county different locations that are run by volunteers so you can do the exact same thing but ahead of time and avoid the lines. And for those of you who, let's just say, for example, you're in the military, or maybe you're going to be on vacation, or maybe you got to work on Election Day, no problem. Right now, you can go to the Supervisor of Elections website or call them and request a vote-by-mail ballot. And they'll mail it to you. And when in the privacy and quiet of your own home, you can fill it out and then send it in. But just make sure that you sign the outside of the envelope and date it correctly because that way when they receive it, they're going to compare and contrast your signature to make sure you're really you. And for those of you who are like, no, I don't trust that system, don't worry. You can go online. And you can check to make sure that number one, that they received it, and number two, that your vote was counted. So it's a foolproof system designed so that every person has a chance to have their voice heard because you are valuable. You are important. My name is Tamara. This is 66 and Civics. So remember, voting is cool. Voting is important. Just as important and as cool as you.